Hey guys, we're back with some more raids today. The server has wiped. This is going to be the first raid of the wipe for me. Hoping to get lucky for that reason. We are using Explo ammo and silencers as to not get countered and lose stuff. We've got around 2000 Explo ammo to use here. Now, just a quick side note on the Rust Academy servers, you have access to skin box which includes all of the default skins for everything, plus some of these clan created skins over here. So Riot clan skin, and the one I have on this AK, Weeaboo skin, bunch of very creative AK skins. It's just that some of these are totally glitched out, guys. Look at this AK skin. Dude, it's completely invisible, except for the little aiming tip. I don't really know the exact word to call that right now. But yeah, check this AK skin out, bro. Literally, you just see the little glowing tip. And this is probably going to be pretty OP. Here's another one. These are the two skins that are pretty glitched out. So I'm going to try raiding with these things. I don't think they should really be legal, but they're in for today. So we're going to give it a shot raiding with them. And this should really help with PvP. I mean, come on, that's pretty epic. That should give you an advantage. Anyways, on to the base that we're going to raid here. So starting with something, you know, not the biggest clan on the server. I mean, like I said, not trying to lose everything, just trying to get a little bit of profit here in the beginning so we could snowball onto some clan bases. But yeah, let's go up to this thing and check it out. We'll set a repair bench down out here. I should probably have put an auto turret up cover in my back, but we're going to risk it for the biscuit for this one. So armored here on the first floor, I do not want to send off 800 X blue bullets solo right now. So we're going to look for a door path on this thing. I mean, hatch there. We could check out the roof and okay, that could be decent stone foundation. We can definitely crouch under that, but I assume it'll turn armored afterwards. We might go for that. Oh, there's an open window. Okay, nothing there. And the door is armored. I guess we might end up sending 800 X blow bullets off anyway after we hit this stone foundation, but let's give it a shot here and hope and pray that we don't get countered, especially from those cliffs. And just as I say that, there's a freaking satchel raid going on. Should be far enough away that he doesn't hear my X blow bullets. Let's try it. Yeah, bro, I knew it. At least we might be a straight in the loot with this, possibly, or at least the door path. Looks like we're going to be sending off 800 bullets onto here. Okay, actually undo a door path by destroying that triangle ceiling. Wow, okay, we don't have to finish out the armored wall. That's nice. And we'll take down these two garages. Base Jacob. Base Doug. Looks like at least a two-man clan, but looking like it's their main base at least. Let's go to the right here. I don't think we can take out both of these at once because they're placed decently. Okay, auto turret not turned on and that's a flame trap. I'm gonna go for that armored wall, I think. Maybe if we can get TC, that would be a lot nicer to shoot off this explode without having to worry about counters. Okay, well, we broke the sheet metal first. Material, what did that other box say? Did it say tools? Armor. Okay, can we get no TC in there? I mean, maybe behind the garage door. I guess we try to check these boxes. We're going to have to destroy this flame turret though, and it's gonna make some noise. All right, hopefully that doesn't attract any attention. Sleeper over here. Furnace, another flame turret. Just looking to see if we can get TC over here. But no, I'm guessing TC's possibly back here. I mean, there's two garage doors there. See what's in the materials box. 56 tech trash, all right, so he means comps. Armor, ammo, what does the other one say? Can't really tell. See what's in that ammo box? 2C4? Okay. We could possibly use that. It's just very early in the wipe, and I don't think this thing's got low grade in it. Yeah, 
We're actually good on that one. We got some more boxes back here all organized too. Oh, shoot. No way. All right. What the heck? Was that turret really just not aiming at me, dude? If we lose our stuff to that, bro. Okay, well, anyways, still thinking that TC is back here. I think we'll have to take down two garage doors, but this looks like the main pathway or something. So let's go for this, the only spot that's looking obvious for TC. And there were customs down here, water gun. Oh, okay, TC right there in between garage doors. I haven't seen that in a minute. We got a TC down, don't have to worry about this trap anymore and let's replace that wall we killed. Okay, looking solid. I don't know if we're really expecting much from this space. We did get two C4 back. What was in here? The tools, meds kind of lacking. I guess it's going to come down to TC. That's pretty much everything, all the boxes already. So let's check that TC. All right, decent amount of sulfur, 9,000 sulfur, 5k GP, we'll take it. I'm not gonna go and blow up top through this base because it was a bunker style, so probably just the entrance and then he came down. We'll go ahead and take that though, can't complain about sulfur and gunpowder, and let's move on to another base, see what else we can find. Okay, dudes, we are using big boy explosives for this one. Got 19 C4 crafted up 12 rockets, and I'll show you guys the base here. I actually put invisible AKs in the turrets. You can see it, just a little tip there showing. We got one turret there and one on the top to cover the backside. Here's the base built up against the rock. Now I did get up and check out the top from the other side of this rock and check this thing out, guys. Already made the decision. We're going straight into these squares, bro. I mean, 8C4 and we are into the back, unless it turns armored or something, but I think that's definitely our best bet. Square pathway, always the cheapest other than triangles. So 4C4 straight onto the sheet wall. Let's see where we can get. Oh, dude, yeah, it does turn armored. Two armored walls. I guess let's follow the square, seven C4 and a rocket. Okay, it's dead, doesn't look dead. Boxes, let's go, and door path, what does the bag say? Unnamed and a possible solo player, key lock there. All those boxes are locked, dude, why does he gotta do this to me? Let's do one C4 on this, maybe, I don't know. That's a hard side armored wall. Might want to head that way. Let's send three rockets first. Damage both of these. Okay, that should have killed the coffins. Yeah. Small box still alive. And we've got a furnace. More open garage doors, man. What the heck? He left everything open. This is looking suspicious back here. I think we're eventually going to have to go in that way. Two armored hard side walls facing the wrong way. And up top here. Bro, you seriously locked every single box in this base. Okay, maybe we'll come back and check those. We can take out the wood to kill those two boxes. Let's check these boxes that we destroyed. We had the LRs, a tiny bit of comps in there. That's two turrets back at least. And I'm gonna kill this small box. All right, what was in that thing? More boxes. Yeah, sticking with the original plan here, we're going straight in through here. Seventy-five HP. Hit markers. What is that? A sleeper? Okay, sleeper in here. Sleeping on a coffin. Another hard side armored wall. Let's try to take this pathway around to that. And I guess I'm gonna take a second to destroy these boxes with hatchets. See if there's anything in here. All right, guys. I've gotten all these boxes down to one HP before we go for this hard side wall or the door path leading into it. Let's check what was in these boxes. Here we go. Yo, let's go. That thing's exploding with MGL rifle bodies. Okay. Explosive 556 ammo. 2C4, 13 rockets. M2, first M2 of the wipe here on the second raid. Let's go, dudes. 
You can use that GL as defense and we'll load that thing up. Let's see what's going on with this backwards wall here. You know what, I'm gonna go straight for this wall and we'll skip that door path since we just got boom. 5C4, we can send this and a few rockets and take it down. By the way, I totally forgot to kill all these boxes. All these boxes are down to one HP, but let's see what's behind this first. Okay, yes, it was a TC, let's go. And it was sealed off. So going through that sealed wall was definitely the right move here. Let's get this thing sealed. We have a few boxes to check plus TC. All right, so yeah, like I said, these boxes over here are down to one HP. And meds in there, plus some gear sets. Nothing, okay, this was probably secondary loot he was gonna move up, but yeah, nothing up here. Comes down to TC, I mean, we're leaving with 16 rockets, not bad, first M2 with the wipe as well. And TC's got 22,000 sulfur, hi dudes. I think that's profit, maybe breaking even. Let's see what else we can find. I think we checked virtually everything in here and we should get our own TC down. Okay, we're on to another raid. This one is kind of just an attempt at getting lucky. I'll show you guys what's going on with this base. So he's missing the front door. The base is not decaying. It's still armored door and a garage door up. So potentially still some profit in there. Definitely a TC with upkeep in there at least. I don't know what's going on if somebody came by blew one door off or if the dude just forgot to put a front door on his base. But we're gonna give it a shot nonetheless. And let's see where we wanna blast into. I mean, the thing is stone. We could blast four walls on one side, but just for the sake of being safe from counters and using my turret to govern me, we'll go in to this armored door. Okay, that's looking good. We could send four rockets here. I mean, hard side doorway, single armor door. I think that could be TC. Let's go for four rockets. Let's see if we got TC there. Double armor door to the right. Oh, bro. All right, C4. Come on, what the heck is this pathway? I mean, the doorways are hard side, but it looks like that was possibly the front door. Let's keep on following two more C4. This is getting really expensive for a stone base. Come on, give me TC. We got furnaces. Okay, sleeper there, four rockets here. We'll take down two double doors and that's 10K sulfur sitting in the furnace. Great sign these guys are rich. Come on. Really want to see TC here. Boxes. There we go. Oh, half a box of Explo. We'll leave that and take that later. And GLs, weapons. This is looking good. It looks like possibly main loot. We'll do 2C4 here. Kill this other door with Explo ammo. And that's just beds. Garage door leading in, though. That's the garage door. Come on, baby. Let's get TC. Yeah, TC. Let's go. Not even locked. We'll finish off his doors that he neglected to put up. Okay, chuck a couple more doors up here. We did make a lot of noise. And let's start checking loot. That expo ammo we'll have to take afterwards. Let's go, dudes! 25 C4, 12 rockets, 35 explosives, 10 freaking airdrops, 57 satchels. That's our like first mini jackpot of the wipe. I'm loving it. Tons of GL rounds now. We'll take those incense too. And gear. Anything in that TC? Comps box. You make four more turrets with that. Gear and TC. There we go. 7,000 more sulfur just keeps adding up. So leaving with 16k sulfur, 84 explosives. And we do have the 17 C4, 33 rockets. Looking good for wipe, guys. Let's see if we can find one more base. Maybe make it a bigger base raid here. Possibly the last raid of the video. Let's not lose everything. Gonna have to find somewhere to call in these supply signals. Yo guys, I was out here scouting for iceberg bases to raid. Ended up spectating one of the biggest online raids going on right here. 
This is freaking epic, and we have the perfect view from the iceberg. All right, so there's the raid base. I've counted four. Four people raiding. I think these guys have three online, possibly more. Obviously, can't tell who's online inside the base, but yeah, they're doing pretty good defending so far. These guys had some turrets up. We're taken down by these guys with HV rockets, but they've started and sending off the roof here. All right, dudes, I decided I'm gonna help them defend. Gonna try to take down some of these raiders. Let's go, we gotta kill. Yo, that's a headshot, is he dead? How? They already know I'm coming. Well, that did not last long. Well, as all of that is going on, I've actually found a base raid I was scouting out here and frames have gone to crap, but let's see if we can get back some of that stuff, maybe get some sort of jackpot here in the last raid of the video. Going to stick to raiding now. So this thing is all stone, possibly see if we can blast into the top. I mean, it's pretty short. He's got hatches up here, tons of them. Okay, let's go ahead and take one of these hatches, see if we can find a pathway down, maybe end up drilling straight down to the center anyway, since it's so skinny. And that's a sheet door. Got a pathway. Yo, this roof's actually in this thing too. Let's send a rocket on this door. See where it leads. Maybe go straight down and then in. Okay. Armor doors here. Four rockets probably needed. All right. Here we go. We revealed some stone. Gonna go straight down and stick to the plan and then go in once we hit first floor. Come on, that was a, that was a foundation, bro. Oh my God. All right, we're going straight in here, bruh. Well, huge mistake there. Two C4 down the drain. We're into some boxes though now. And armored portion. Okay, some car parts. Oh, bro, it's looking empty. There is this armored portion here though. Door on it. Bag says base, okay. Boxes around here, just more gear sets. Meds, there's the comps box, let's go. Actually looking decent. What else we got? A bit more explo. Let's see what's in the center. TC, okay. EB, DB clan. Gonna just go ahead and hop up out of here with whatever's in the TC. Come on, baby, can we get some sulfur? All right, 9K sulfur. Yeah, now that I see this guy's probably a solo or a smaller clan. Just gonna cut my losses there and we'll leave with that. Let me just double check these boxes around. Yeah, I mean, I guess there could be boom in these garage doors around, but we don't have a turret cover and we have way too much stuff to be risking getting countered. Gonna leave with a 9K sulfur and call it. So yeah, dude, if you've got some C4 stash in those garages, you are getting off lucky and easy. I'll let you take it. But gonna go ahead and end the video. There was a long day of raiding. I think I've been raiding for four plus hours already today, plus that counter. Anyways, gonna be doing raids every day for the foreseeable future. Make sure you guys get subbed if you wanna stay up to date with my raids. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wish me luck. Good luck to that clan getting raided too.